I want to talk about rational functions where the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator. So remember, the rational function is a ratio of two polynomials. So let's call the degree of the top polynomial n and the bottom one m. If n is greater than m, remember that there are no horizontal asymptotes. But there may be something called an oblique asymptote. And the way to find out is to divide the, the top polynomial by the bottom polynomial. Let's take a look at an example. Here I have f of x equals x squared plus x minus 4 over x plus 2. And I want to find the asymptotes. Now, um, the first thing you want to do is, in order to find the oblique asymptote, if there is one, is divide these two. So let's do that. We have x squared plus x minus 4 divided by x plus 2. And so what do we need to multiply by x to get x squared? x. So we multiply through and we get x squared plus 2x. We change the signs and add. And we get negative x minus 4. Now what do we need to multiply by x to get minus x? Negative 1. So we multiply negative 1 through and we get negative, 1, negative x minus 2. Change the signs and add. And I get a remainder of negative 2. What that means is that f of x is actually equal to this quotient, x minus 1, plus this remainder, negative 2, over this divisor, x plus 2. This is going to be my oblique asymptote right here, the x minus 1. So y equals x minus 1 is an oblique asymptote. Now, if you, um, you can either fi find the vertical asymptotes in the beginning, or you can do it now, because you're always going to have this um, denominator here. X, uh, x plus 2 equals 0 when x is negative 2. So x equals negative 2 is going to be your vertical asymptote. And those are the two asymptotes for this function. It's got an oblique asymptote, y equals x minus 1, slanted like this, and a vertical asymptote. And that'll be important when you're graphing functions where the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator.